Hi everybody, this is Just Martin, and I'm here to talk to you guys about Joker 2, Joker Folia 2. So, it is the second installment in this duology of Joker films from Todd Phillips. A sequel that he never intended to make. Warner Brothers saw the billion dollar cash cow that the original film was, for good reason by the way. Because it was such an edge of your seat, jaw dropping piece of work caught you out of left field any chance it got it's one of the great like it was a great character study obviously inspired by a bunch of great films that came before it in the and and but Todd Phillips kind of harnessed his love for those films and made it his own and basically created this this character portrait this piece that very much obviously did uh, well and translated well to the screen for the audiences and people loved it in majority yes there were people that didn't like it because they wanted it to be more like the dc universe like comics and that joker didn't fit into them. like that wasn't what this was supposed to be it was never supposed to be that and it still isn't not even in this version so people who are criticizing harley and and how they're going about Again, I feel like it's a very loose adaption, if you can even call it that. And this movie is essentially an epilogue to that original tale. An epilogue that wasn't even necessary. The original movie was left open-ended for a reason. It left you kind of imagine what could happen beyond here. They could have killed off the Joker, but they didn't do that. And... This movie kind of follows up on that and I the pacing is okay, but I mean what exactly are we doing here? That's the question you need to ask yourself and the trailer already leaves you scratching your head, which by the way, I'm going to commend them for that because it doesn't spoil the movie completely and there's a couple dupe shots and mixes in with the dialogue and sound and all that that kind of give us a bit of a segue to what actually occurs in the film now that could be reshoots that could be whatever but all in all i feel like the movie was promoted a certain way and it deviates from that i'm not saying that elevates the product to me the whole, the movie itself was enjoyable if you're a fan of the original if you're not a fan of the original don't even try this out i think that goes without saying i don't think that this can diminish anything that the original did but it's an experience i'm going to say that it's an experience and before anyone says anything it is not a musical to me a musical is generally a film that uses original pieces of music which just doesn't have an iota of to guide the story and kind of fill in blanks that would have taken, you know, an extended period of time to tell. So, like, montage-wise kind of layer out things that we need to know, but kind of condenses it to make it more digestible. This is not that. This is not that, so I'm not going to call it a musical. There's a lot of cover songs that occur in different pieces of the film and if I would say yes majority of the film does kind of develop into that and I don't want to give too much away here because the ending kind of ropes into it like we don't know why that was a thing but it was a thing and it kind of Like there to me there was one segment that kind of left me like, okay, well, this is gonna be relevant later, and yeah, it was. But I'm gonna say everyone should make up their own mind about it. And when you, when eventually you go see it. The fan event that I went to was pretty full and I was very happy to see that. I don't know how well this is gonna do at the box office. Joaquin Phoenix knocked it out of the park once again. I don't believe he's gonna win an Oscar for this. Uh, cinematography, I think it could actually go up there for it. Lady Gaga, she can sing, but I mean, we all knew that. 
Um, I'm interested on how this is going to deliver in the grand scheme of things for a movie that technically should not have existed. It holds its own, but ultimately it was unnecessary. I don't even know if the reviews need to come out for that, but that's just my two cents. And for now, I'm going to leave you with that, and there's going to be more things coming soon. But, uh, yeah, keep smiling, guys. <laughs> Enjoy the movies. Bye.